that barely fit. <laughs> Driving 60 kilometers south to Barbie Lake. Now that I'm living slash working here in northwestern Manitoba, I'm gonna go try out this lake because it's stocked with massive rainbow trout. Brook trout in it as well. And that's what we're gonna go target today. This looks like a somewhat busy place. Damn. So, I've been trying to get away from the crowds here, because if you look, the entry roads and the trails that people used to get down to this lake are kind of crowded, these areas, which, I mean, I don't want to be in a crowded area. I want to get away from it all, find my own fish. You know, the fish might be avoiding the crowds, you know, if there's too much pressure, they might be hugging areas that are calmer. So those are the areas that I'm looking for. But if you notice all the shacks, they're all kind of strategically set close to shore near these pencil reeds and these grass lines which are usually good trout areas this place looks good there's rock nice looking pencil reeds so I'm expecting to find at least a few trout and trout are cruisers you know they're kind of just cruising around all over the place so drill a couple holes first and try to see if I can mark some but uh, yeah I think the key is getting away from everybody what I did do though is I drilled a hole where those shacks were so that I could see how deep everybody was fishing. I know which depth I'm gonna be looking for because I even marked fish on there, but I don't know if they were really big or not. Quick update, I was jigging, saw a big mark. I looked into the hole and saw trout over 20 inches following my bait. So we're gonna set up the shack here and I don't care how long we wait, we're gonna stay here until it's dark. Try to get a big one, let's get it. I'm going to drill a sight fishing hole. Pop up the shack, we're gonna be able to look at the trout. A giant hole of slush. Back home where I'm from, this would be unheard of. Look how clear that water is. Cool. Big brookie, big brookie. Oh my god, please, 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 please. I bet you it was that same one from earlier. That was a big brookie. I've never seen a brookie like that before. What we got going right now, mini dragon slayer with a, I think, 132nd ounce frostbite jig. Oh, this looks deadly in the water. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh! Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew you were gonna eat it. First fish of the afternoon, big rainbow. I'm kidding. Well, 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 here's our ready to eat trout. That actually wouldn't be so bad, but uh, we're gonna pan fry this thing. I'm happy to see the meat is more of a orange rather than like a beige or peach color. Trout are so hard to hold. Nice little look. Bye-bye. Trout so far, one brookie, two rainbows. <gasps> oh my god, I just saw that monster again. Holy hell, that's insane! Hello, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? No, M, no, M, no, M, no, M, no, M. I'm on Barbie Lake right now. Bro, there's a giant rainbow just swimming around. He's got to be close to 30. No way. A rainbow, dude. Can you get it? Well, I'm trying, but they're just so finicky. I've gotten two rainbows already and one brookie. You know I'm sight fishing too. 
Yeah, that's why I said there's a 30 inch because I know how big it is. I'm seeing it swimming under me. I'm in like eight feet of water. Tell the camera something. So, I trust in CR bungling skills. Just because he has the name bungling doesn't mean he bungles on things like this. He's going to get this fish. I believe it. Chris calls shots and he gets it. This time I'm calling it. He's getting that trout. On record, let's go, baby. Hopefully, dude. Hopefully. Anyways, we, we can talk later. I got I to gotta focus here. Yeah. Yeah. Here, buddy. There's still fish. Eight. There's a number five. Okay, another bookie. Another one. Huh. Oh, all the other shacks are gone. We're gonna go cook this thing up. I haven't caught a rainbow trout since I was like 12. I forgot how pretty they are. I saw a giant rainbow swim under me. A couple big brookies as well. Salad, steamed veggies, and a delicious rainbow trout. Oh man, mm, that's so good. I know it looks mangled, it's just what the frying pan did. The skin is so crispy. Should have kept the second one. Should I eat the tail? Here goes nothing. That was unreal. This is what it should look like when you're done eating the trout. It was fun fishing a new lake today. Of course, always mark your site fishing holes when you're done using them. Anyways, please consider sticking around for more. Comment below, let me know what you wanna see. Probably a bunch of different ice fishing videos coming. And if you wanna see just more outdoor adventures and whatnot, just stick around and it's gonna be coming. So thanks for watching.